This video is going to show you three examples of how to draw stem and leaf plots. Stem and leaf plots are like frequency histograms, but they're used when you have a fewer number of cases and you don't have grouped intervals. For example, the things I'm going to show you today, I'm only going to use 25 cases. You often use stem and plots when you don't want to uh, go to all the trouble making a frequency histogram and need just a quick look at a picture of the distribution of your data. The first example I'm going to look at is using the variable from the general social survey called childs. I've taken a random sample of 25 cases. This variable measures the number of children that a respondent has. You can see from the data that I've already ordered, ordered these or sorted them from low to high. So we can see that if I draw a line through these, everywhere there's a change in the responses, I'm going to use this to draw my stem and leaf, these groups right here. Now, each of these numbers, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so forth, if you think of them as all being less than 10, then we can add the prefix of a 0. So I'm going to start with, there's 0. I'm just going to draw some zeros here. I'll draw more than I need, and then I can go back and erase the ones. And now I go up here and say, well, how many people had no children? And I just count. One, two, three, four, five. And so I'm going to draw in five zeros here. One, two, three, four, and five. This points out the fundamental structure of this type of plot. Over here, this is the stem, and this is the leaf. Let's move on to the next category. There was one respondent who had one child. So I'll just put a one there. And then there were one, two, three, four, five people that had two children. And you can see now that we're, we're getting the shape of the distribution. We actually type in the real values of the numbers here. And the, the width of that column of numbers is proportional to the number of uh, people in that category. I count the number of threes, there's 10 of them. So I'll put in 10 threes. There are no fours. There's one five, no sixes, one seven, and two eights. And as I said, I can just come down here. I've drawn in a few too many. I can just come in and erase that. And there I get my frequency histogram shown as a stem and leaf plot. It's kind of neat. It has a lot of great information in it uh, because we can see the actual raw values. Again, my hand drawing on this tablet isn't very good, but this is certainly acceptable for a homework assignment. Let's look at a new variable now. I've taken another sample of 25 cases from the 2012 General Social Survey, and for each respondent I've recorded how many years of education they have. You can see that these values range from 9 years at the bottom and 18 years of education at the top. And I'm again going to make a stem and leaf without grouping anything. And so I'm going to start up here and put in a 0, which I know will be for my one person with 9 years. I can just go ahead and put that person in. Remember, this is my stem, and this is my leaf. And then I can just draw a line down here to separate the two. And now I need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 rows to handle all the cases. I have one person with 10 years of education, two people with 11 years, 10 people with 12 years, one person with 13 years, five people with 14 years, one person with 15 years of education, one with 16 years of education, nobody with 17, and three with 18 years of education. And again, I can just erase this little bit at the bottom. Again, pretty fast, very easy, and we get to see that 
the bulk of our distribution is located right here around 12 years of education. Now, if you have too much spread on your distribution, if you have too many rows, we can take us we can take the rows and we can collapse them. So let me show you this same stem and leaf diagram where I'm going to collapse my rows. I'm just going to draw my line over here. Zero, one, 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 one and one. So notice now I have half the number of ones that I had over on in the first diagram. And what I'm going to do on this is I'll still go ahead and put my one person with nine years of education in, but now I'm going to collapse these groups over here. So I'm just going to draw some dividing lines to make it a little easier. There's my person with nine years. I'm going to put the 10 and 11s together, the 12 and 13s, 14 and 16s, whoops, 14 and 15s together, the 16 and 17s together, and then the 18 and 19s. And so this is going to now look like this. And again, just to be clear, that's our stem and that's our leaf. So it's the same distribution, but collapsed. So you have control over the amount of information you show by grouping these things into smaller and smaller pieces. Um, so here we have roughly, you know, 10, 11 categories, and here we have five or six categories. In this example, I'm going to look at the variable age, again taken from the 2012 GSS. I've selected 25 people randomly, and you can see here that their ages range from 27 years old to 83 years old. Now, it would be easy to go ahead and make a stem and leaf where we had one row for each age, 27, 28, 29, and 30. But the trouble is I don't have enough graph paper here. That's going to be too many rows. So I'm going to collapse this even more than I did the one before, and I'm going to make a the following categories. I'm going to make up 20-year-olds, 30-year-olds, 40-year-olds, 50-year-olds, 60-year-olds, 70-year-olds, 80-year-olds. That's my stem. And now my leafs are all going to be all the people who are in their 20s. So there's a 27-year-old and a 28-year-old. Under 30, I have a 30-year-old. 31, 36, 37, two 39 year olds, there's my 50 year olds, and there's my distribution. Nice little stem and leaf plot quick look at the distribution of ages and just to draw a line over that we can kind of see what that distribution looks like. There you go. That's it on stem and leaf plots. As always, if you have any questions, please email us or give us a phone call and uh, or ask in class and we'll try to answer all of your questions.